uh, as I said in the previous video as well, very significant kind of timer for uh, PLC in Easy uh, Miller Easy Soft 3.0 is on delay timer, but we have other kinds of timers like off delay, flashing, monopause, random timers, and something else. Uh, for these purposes to utilize this one is very important in our circuits it depends on your circuit which you want to assemble but in many cases it's it is indispensable it becomes indispensable part of our uh, PLC programming part uh, let's create a new project and let's type some buttons some outputs because we know how to create outputs and buttons even reset buttons we can create so usual we make some feedbacks and of course timers let's add timer situated here TT1 and on delay we illustrated why we need on delay with random time on delay with random time is one of the important ones because but it's just on delay timer but works in a random timing. Sometimes it gives 3 seconds as we illustrated here, sometimes it will give after 2 seconds, in some cases it gives 1 second. It depends on random. Now it gives directly, not waited 3 seconds, it gives. Now let's just, it will wait approximately 3 seconds or more than, it's random. Let's change uh, the type of timer it's enough to change the from here type of timer output will uh, exactly automatically changed let's make the three second it's a monopulse single pulse monoflop timer why we need monoflop timers it uh, let's be careful about monoflop timers because it will give as we illustrated here, 3 second activation time. After 3 seconds, it will give impulse. It doesn't matter for this kind of timer. What we have in output will reset, will, will uh, activate, will maintain this activation period. It will give after, uh, after yes, 3 uh, seconds, it will give. And for this purpose, let's use. For instance, it gives random. Now just wait. It it resets after three seconds. Be carefully. One, two, and three. It resets. But imagine it still holds, and three seconds later it resets. Holds and resets. It doesn't matter for this timer how much we have. After 3 seconds later it will uh, reset it. And this is the very unusual kind of timer. I don't like this type of timers. We can't even are not able to calculate what we what we this kind of timer want. And another indispensable part is of delay timers. Uh, why we need off delay timers? Let's run our program. Now let's reset. It will wait three seconds. Reset it. Just like a monoflop, but in this way we have more secure way of timing. It waits three seconds and it resets itself because we will straight here even s only three seconds. On uh, on delay with random timer, we don't need it one. This one is like the symbol of delay and flashing timer the most. Uh, usual and the, I prefer to utilize in each program in each PLC program this kind of flashing we will uh, in a future project we will utilize it in an advanced traffic life project let's set it after 3 seconds it flash and waits 3 seconds and reset 3 seconds waits it flash wait 3 seconds, it reset. It means the timing period, the period of our timer is 3 seconds, 
and of course pulse width is 3 seconds. Let's change it to the 1. It will wait 1 second, set, 1 second, and reset. As we know, let's just flashing timer. And this is the uh, one of the most indispensable and the beautiful kind of timers, flashing timer. That, that's all about timers because we have very few kind of timer here. It's not just the advanced kind of programming language, but very useful for beginners. Thank you very much for watching.